hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you which is better is it obsidian rome research or notion so let's begin okay so to begin with obsidian rome and notion are all popular note-taking and knowledge management tools each with its own strengths and unique features that we are going to discuss for today's video now moving forward let's talk about rome research first basically it's a unique note-taking tool with its own set of advantages and drawbacks all right so basically it was pioneered the concept of bi-directional linking allowing users to create interconnected notes by linking related ideas together and this feature helps in building a web of connected thoughts and aids in better understanding relationships between concepts now users can link specific blocks or text or ideas together enabling a more granular and precise way of interlinking information and this block level alone enhances the ability to create nuanced connections right so it's more fluid and flexible approach to note taking its structureless nature allows users to create and organize notes in a non-linear free-flowing manner in promoting creative thinking and associated uh, connections now if you hover here at the uh, subscription plans what they offer is the pro it's 15 dollars a month and it's 165 dollars a year so it's um it's a limited private or public room graphs unlimited collaboration and api access and apps coming soon you can start your free trial we'll be charged after 31 days so you have like 30 days non-commitment all right now if you want a believer package it's gonna be 500 dollars for five years it's gonna be eight dollars per month and a hundred dollars per year so everything in pro plan plus you get our first access to new features community calls with the team and priority support so if you want more information about rome i suggest you go at their official website right now i'm using rome as well so i've tried the uh the free non-committal just to check how it uh compete with the other note-taking tool all right now we go over to our next um contender which is notion so notion we have a lot of comparison video about notion so you might want to check our channel but basically you write plan share with ai at your side notion is the connected workspace where better faster work happens you can get notion free here just click on this link all right basically um I use Notion for a collaborative effort. Say if you're working for a project with a team, with a client, you know, this is the better um, option for you. Here's the clients, all right? The product, you can customize the info you track, create your own labels, tags, owners, and more. So everyone has contacts and everything stays organized. You can build any page, communicate any ideas, and everything is drag and drop in Notion, images, toggles, to do even embedded databases. Right? There's a lot of um, community support as well. Okay, so don't have to worry. And when you check the... Uh, what I did is I requested a demo just to, um, you know, to, to check how it goes. If it's gonna be uh, the uh management uh tool or note taking tools for my team and for my my clients so uh the uh customer support were more than happy to give me a demo and answer all my inquiries so if you want more information i suggest you go here at um, notion.com all right next on our list is gonna be obsidian and again if you are a fan of our channel you might want to check some of our comparison videos of obsidian but basically, it's the private and flexible writing app that adapts to the way you think, right? You can get Obsidian for Windows, and you can check for more platforms here. Not only it's available for Windows, it's available for iOS, App Store, Android, Google Play, Windows, Mac, and Linux, right? The good thing about Obsidian is you can create links. Now link anything and everything ideas people places and beyond invent your own personal wikipedia right here all right it's very organized you can also have a graph 
so that you can visualize the relationship between your notes, find hidden patterns in your thinking, and visually engaging and interactive graph. They also have a canvas, an infinite space to research, brainstorm, diagram, and lay out your ideas. Basically, canvas is a limitless play gun for your mind. Of course, you can build your own idea of thinking space with hundreds of plugins and the open api it's easy to tailor obsidian to fit your personal workflow so the plugins are created by the uh, community developers say for, for example calendar by liam kane kanban by matthew Mayers, data view by michael brennan and outliner there's a lot of information for you to check you can all also d join discord and discussion forum and developer talks if you want to know more about the pricing let's click on it okay here's the pricing you get our free personal use forever here are the uh, benefits now if you want to upgrade more to a commercial use which is going to be 50 dollars per year one user per year you have like commercial use license a 14 day free trial and a priority support now you can always check and inquire at support.obsidian.md, all right? Now, moving along. Here in Notion, all right? So I've been using Notion as well. It's a connected workspace where better, faster works happen. So um, I we also... And once again, if you want more information about Notion, just go here at their website, notion.com, to get more okay so here's a side-by-side -side comparison for the platforms obsidian initially lacked a dedicated mobile app which limited accessibility and synchronization across different devices however this might have changed in more recent updates but considering that obsidian has an active community and support firms and official support might be limited compared to larger established platforms. Obsidian's primary focus is on personal knowledge management, so its collaborative features might be limited, if you ask me, compared to tools explicitly designed for teamwork. Now, in terms of Rome, it is a subscription-based tool with a pricing model that might be considered relatively higher compared to some other note-taking apps, and that could be a drawback for budget-conscious users, right? While Roam does have a mobile app, some users find the mobile experience less optimized compared to the desktop version, and this could impact the seamless synchronization and usage across different devices. Now, some users might have concerns about data privacy and the ownership of their notes, especially since Roam is a cloud-based service. While Roam's approach is unique and powerful for interconnected note-taking, some users might find the feature set lacking in certain areas compared to more mature platforms, right? Notion, on the other hand, for users with large databases or extensive content, Notion may experience performance issues such as lower load times or occasional lugs. While the basic version of Notion is free, some advanced features like collaboration tools, increased storage, and access to premium templates are available with paid plans, which might be a consideration for some users. Now, despite its flexibility, Notion's learning curve can be steep for some users, especially when setting up databases or intricate layouts. It might take time to get used to its full potential, all right? And as always, our verdict is basically when choosing between these tools often depends on personal preferences and specific needs. Now, you have to consider your workflow, collaboration needs, comfort with the markdown or block-based note-taking, and the type of interface that suits you best, all right? So when deciding between these tools, you know what? Some users even integrate multiple tools into their workflow, leveraging each one for its specific strength. And again, it pays to check each website to get more information, all right? The pricing, features, and availability for you to consider. Because that's what I did in the past. So I I've been here in this websites just to gather some information for Notion for obsidian and for rome research all right so don't be afraid to check it's free anyway right here
and that concludes our today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in our next video